when I meet a, a young man or older gentleman or a father or a son or a grandfather or a daughter or a mother and you can see in their eyes the light is shining bright and they're just the conversation and sharing stories about you know shooting fast it's making their day or it might make their week and then on social media you see that oh I got to meet Sung and it just you know made my day I feel like wow that is important and it legitimizes my existence so I have to thank the fans because also without the fans I would not be here you know the whole justice for Han campaign was from the fans we are all connected and without the audience without the fans we have nothing we wouldn't be here right I mean look at our life look what we get to do um, and so every day you know it's an opportunity to go out in the world and thank people for allowing me to pursue my dream and allowing me to live this amazing life there's of course Jason Momoa, which, who I, I know, I, we did a film almost a decade ago together. Uh, and, you know, he was bigger than life back then. You know, a joy to work with, you know, the energy that he brings to set. And, you know, you can tell that he loves what he does. And then we have, you know, Br Brie Larson, who, you know, I'm a fan of. And I'm a fan of her work as an actress and a director. You know, I think we just keep leveling up, you know, I mean, we have Helen Mirren. We have we have these legends of, of these these, these these you know thespians that are the that set the bar of what being a great actor or actress is, and the fact that they're joining us in the Fast and Furious fans. Sometimes I scratch my head, but it's a testament to how far we've come, and that you know we are able to attract these powerhouse actors and actresses and these talents from all over the world not just as not just actors but musicians and um, you know all walks of life right that you know this is something that is important to them because maybe they don't watch the films or they're not a necessary fan of fast but their children are or their grandkids are you know and I heard an interview with Helen Mirren a while back and she said that you know her grandkids are super fans and if she was in the Fast and Furious movie, would give her some street cred with her grandkids, right? So what better reason, you know? Um, so it's, 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 it's an honor to be able to share the screen and be in the movie with, you know, these amazing talents. Han knows that Shaw's heart's in the right place. So that's why he goes to his lair to, you know, he, of all the people that he could ask for help, that he knows that Shaw's going to, you know, react a certain way when he sees Han, but he knows, he already knows that, you know, you know, that, that, that Shaw's heart is in the right place, right? So, of course he can depend on him. Dante is really angry, right? That's all I can say is Dante is really one angry guy, but really well-dressed for an angry guy. Like, for all that anger, you do have a lot of time to go to wherever you're shopping, Versace or whatever, to get well-dressed. You're the best-dressed villain in the world, I mean, in, in cinema history, right? 